Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome to Minecraft Nomi Factory. Uh, it's been a little while since I've made a video, but we're hopping back in. I've been playing a lot of Nomi Factory on my own, and I decided I want to stream this. And so we're going to be making some YouTube videos for this, and depending on how those do, I'll either continue uploading them to YouTube, or we will move them all over to Crydax Extra. But at least for now, these are going to be YouTube episodes as well as Twitch streams, so be sure to join in. Um, the basics of Nomi Factory, if you don't know, is that it's kind of a Greg Tech un without as much grind, ungrindified. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that, but that's the simplest explanation I can give. Um, and yeah, so you are in the Lost Cities, and you can do a default world and then like teleport to the Lost Cities. I don't really care that much because I'm going to be building in the Void World, I think, as far as my main base. Uh, we'll go ahead and name it the the Arkenheimer. That's just the first thing my brain thought of. So there you go. The Arkenheimer is the name of my world, and we will let the seed be random. So we're just going to hop right in. And yeah, you guys should totally try it out. If you're interested in the origins of Factorio, it is actually modded Minecraft. Uh, the Factorio devs actually talked about this uh, at some point that they were inspired uh, partially by modded Minecraft and the automation in modded Minecraft. So in some ways, this is even more hipster than Factorio itself, but it's a completely different type of gameplay. Um, it scratches some of the same itches, but it's it's very different gameplay. But I'm excited to jump in. And as with any good Minecraft journey, we start with hitting trees with our bare fists, as you know. And yeah, welcome in, everybody. Um, Greg Tech, but maybe a little ungregged. Yeah. Welcome, Vogon. And yeah, I struggled a lot. Uh, the people in my Discord will know they were the ones that inspired me to start playing it. And I had about 10 billion questions uh, as we started out. And I probably will still have 10 billion more, but I at least have a general concept of what's going on, at least for the first 100 hours or so. And then I'll be confused again because I didn't get that far by myself. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to stress out. I'm going to take things really slow which means I'm not going to rush for progression. These episodes uh, might not end with me accomplishing much at all. And if you don't like that, then you can always play it on 2x speed or <laughs> skip ahead to other episodes. I'll try to make the titles on YouTube at least somewhat indicative. Ooh, cool, farm. Somewhat indicative of uh, sort of what we accomplished, but more or less, uh, it may not be a whole lot. Um, I'm going to set my home here so I can come back to that farm later. We can teleport with that command. It is Janie and Dave's fault if you want people to blame for why I'm playing this or why you end up playing it because you saw me playing it. And right now I'm looking for sheep. Why don't I actually... Uh, so we'll open up the quest book. Um, the quest book is really great in Nomi Factory. If you're scared of modern Minecraft, I would recommend Nomi Factory. It's not insane. There are a lot of little mechanics you need to get used to, but... Uh, well, feel free to hop in the Discord and ask me, because if you have the question, I probably had it too. I've asked about every question possible. At least, I know that's not true, but it feels like it. Um, anyway, they start you off with four diamond mining hammers, which is super nice, and a prospector scanner, which shows you where different veins of ore are, and that's also super handy. So we're going to start off and put the hammer in number three. The void cake gets us to the void world, and that's pretty great. Um, but yeah, I want some sheep so I can get a bed, and then from there we can do things like sleep when it becomes nighttime. I see on the map in the top right there's some mobs. The gray squares are the uh, peaceful mobs. So I kind of just fall. It's just rabbits. Can you get wool from rabbits? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Here's sheep. The mining hammer I think does more damage than my fists, but wow, they are stuck. Sucks to be them. Sorry, dudes. Um, and I will want to get some stone as well so I can get like sword and uh, axe, basic stuff like that. But yeah, we're going to kill all of them because we need some food for the early game as well. Food is not too much of a concern, but it, you know, you end up needing to eat periodically. So got to at least get a little bit. But there's some stone down here, so we'll grab this for a furnace. 
and it looks like we've got some chalcopyrite or chalcopyrite. I don't know exactly how you say that, but that is copper. Oh gosh, I almost fell into that. But yeah, the early game is going to be collecting a lot of various things uh, from the city and from underground, kind of trying to get some of the basic resources going. I'll take a look at the quest book here in a second so you guys can see where it's leading us. But I'm just going to grab some mainly stone is what I want so I can get some furnaces. And then we'll focus on some trees so we can get some uh, charcoal for smelting. And then we'll get some hopefully iron somewhere. Not chow copyright, but chow copyright. Yeah, I think that's how I said it. There are a crap ton of ore types in this uh, in this mod pack. It's absurd. Here, let me show you. We'll pop open the scanner with right click, and you can see every dot is an ore. This is a top down view. Uh, I don't. The window's looking weird. There's normally like an outline here. I don't know what happened, but. Anyway, these are all the different ore types that I can see just in like five chunks around me. So, yeah, there's a lot of ore types. Some of them are fairly useless, especially at this stage of the game, and some of them are very helpful. So in the early game, you spend a lot of time in what's called J-E-I or H-E-I, um, just looking at recipes where you're like, OK, iron ingot, I want those. So I look at the recipe for that, and then I find out, you know, oh, I can have all these different ore types. What's really handy is you can go over here to the ore byproduct list, and then you can scroll through these, and it will show you which different ores will smelt into iron, as well as all the processing chains, what uh, bonus resources you can get from them. This ore byproduct list has been a lifesaver in understanding where to get, especially some of the more rare things, for sure. Yeah, Apophenia, the hammer is really awesome to start out with. Um, otherwise, I mean, you can get steel hammers pretty early. Um, you would have to find a couple stacks of iron maybe without hammers first. And steel hammers are pretty good. So I wouldn't say it like completely changes everything, but it's nice. Nice to have. I also like spruce because they can grow into these giant two by two trees that are really tall and take care of all your... Uh, wood needs. So with that in hand, we're going to go back. I moved. I didn't. Liar. Pretty sure I didn't move. Um, I will make heavy use of this teleport mod. I don't know if people consider that treat treating cheating or not, but I will not care and do it anyway. And there's no dirt here, which is unfortunate. Is there dirt down there? No, it's literally oh, OK. There's some. Let's go down here and plant some trees. Probably need to dig up some dirt, but for now we'll do that. I actually don't want two by two trees because they're so tall, it's really annoying. For now we'll plant separate trees. And I space them out a little bit more because you get more leaves that way, which means more saplings, and at least early on you do need more saplings. Skipping the steam age, I would say, is probably the bigger difference compared to kind of the quote unquote normal experience. Um Anyway, I'm just going to set up a couple things here and we'll get started with the crafting part of the Minecraft. Let's do a crafting table and start with a bunch of sticks. And we'll do, let's see, I'm good on pickaxe needs. We'll get a wood axe, a hoe, a shovel and a sword for exploring. Is there anything else I need? I think that's it for now, at least. And then I will get two furnaces. And we'll just start with four. We'll go ahead and pile those up right here. Go ahead and get some charcoal smelting going. And I think we're off to the races. I do need a chest or two. I guess we'll just start with a double chest to throw everything in so we can go explore the wonderful lost cities. Uh, I'll put 
almost everything away. Keep the axe and some blocks. I'll go ahead and make the bed. I could do all this in the void world, but it, you have to even create the ground. There's only a two by two or a three by three square that you start on in the void world, which is pretty, pretty tiny. So we'll at least do this super early base out in the overworld. Get this stuff smelting. And I think with some food, we'll be good to go do a bit of exploring before nighttime. And I'll just let all this grow until it's all fully grown and I'll collect it all in one go. Charcoal trees? What do you mean, Teus? Did you mean just turning trees into charcoal? And pretty soon we'll also get the Greg Tech uh, axes, which cut down entire trees in one hit. Super nice. Their durability disappears really fast, but it makes cutting down lots of wood pretty much an afterthought. And just for simplicity, I will only grow spruce trees so that I don't I hate having different kinds of planks running all over the place. I don't know why, but it really bothers me. So I like having only one type of tree. And that will be spruce. Where did that go? Oh, the hammer. That's what I put away. All right, it's almost nighttime, so I'll just wait until, I don't know, whenever it lets me go to bed. And then we'll do that. And what are we looking for in the Lost Cities? I think... Uh, the dark steel boots I know exist, and those are super handy because they negate fall damage, and that's obviously helpful for a lot of reasons. I also, oh, I should grab some torches. I would also like to have, what would I like? Dark steel boots. There's a dark steel sword that's pretty nice. Um,. Trying to think of what else there even is. Oh, some anvils. You don't need a ton, but there's a. There's a uh, what's it called? I don't need a crafting table. The forge hammer requires anvils and you need a few forge hammers. It's a Greg Tech machine. You can sneak and cut down a block and then it won't do the three by three area with the mining hammer. Neatness is so important. Let's spruce up the place. Don't worry, I do promise this will be a neater, uh, I'll focus more on aesthetics than I normally will in Factorio, but we're not gonna like, I still don't have the best eye for aesthetics, so we're not gonna go super crazy. Ah yes, the Staff of Traveling, that's the one. I uh, was not sold on it from the beginning, I thought a jetpack was good enough, turns out Staff of Traveling is pretty great, but so are jetpacks, so we'll do both. Aldrin's are pretty cheap, but yeah, I'll grab one if I see it. Enchantment tables, yes. Books, yes. <laughs> the day I build pretty is the day the world ends. Yeah, it might be true. Yes, no. Monster spawners, I think you can smelt into extra iron. Oh, hello, friends. Nothing interesting in here, huh? We'll just keep moving. Eat a mutton. Oh, I can't eat yet. There we go. There's a chest. What do we got? Okay, sort with metal click. We got coal. You'd think I'd want dark steel, but this is the wrong dark steel. There's actually two. I think this is probably a patch that needs to happen. There's two different types of dark steel ingots, and this one is completely useless, I think. I guess you can compress it back into the other one, so maybe not. Completely useless. I didn't actually know that. I just now discovered that. Okay, I'll grab it. Uh, redstone, string, nether quartz. I don't need to worry about. Um, I can get all the nether quartz I want if I find a building with marble. Or not, not marble, sorry. These blocks of quartz. Um, they look like marble. But those give me four nether quartz each. So I can get plenty of quartz from that. And here we got some bookshelves. Did I ever make travel anchors? Uh, I made a 
one travel anchor, but I kind of found it annoying because I like to always hold my staff of traveling. And then the travel, excuse me, uh, the travel anchor was always popping up in my field of view. Ah, baby zombie. I did not make the glitch infused armor. I totally forgot it existed. So I probably should have done that. Definitely will take emeralds and diamonds. You know what? I'll just take the whole chest. Gimme. Another thing high on my priority list is the magnet. Did I go in this building already? I have, oh, we're just gonna keep on moving. Goodbye. Uh, it gives you creative flight. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I think, I don't know if I did. The, the hardest thing with Lost Cities is remembering if you've been in a building or not, because they all look the same. Um, pretty much impossible to know. Oh, no downstairs there. Chests? Nope. I heard a witch. Cobalt armor, yeah, that's true. I'd rather do dark steel for the fall damage reduction, and also, um, if it's empowered, it reduces damage taken overall. So it makes it makes you really hard to kill if you have full dark steel plus an armored jetpack. Oh, an empty chest, wonderful. Exactly what we needed. Break the walls of the buildings you went to. That's not a bad idea. I should probably also not go between floors or like when I'm on the third floor, I go to a different building and that means like I never remember if I've been because it's like different directions that connect to different buildings like what I'm doing right now. And then by the time I get to the top, I have no idea which directions I've gone and haven't gone. So, you know, nice and organized uh, search pattern we've got going on here. Just looking for chests. Aldrin. Guess I'll take a few more furnaces. You don't need that many because you get upgraded furnaces. And those go really fast. In my last playthrough, I really survived off of only four diamond furnaces. Like, until I had everything automated and had the multi smelter. Which was like 100 hours in. I see another anvil down there. I never made the obsidian ones, because uh, by the time I had obsidian, I already felt like what I had was enough, but I should have. I just didn't go obsidian hunting very early. Okay, we'll take this bad boy. Grab some more quartz. You need nether quartz for all sorts of random crap, so I don't mind collecting it. Uh, you really don't need a brewing stand. I'm not even going to grab it. It's just a waste of inventory space for now. I can make one easily enough. Unless I was really missing something big, you don't need one for like the first hundred hours. <laughs> Levels of don't need it. So yeah, we'll ignore it. Nothing in here. Oops, well, there goes that ladder. All the quartz. Iron bars, I think you need for a couple things. What are they used for? Mm, gas collector. Oh, they're used for the Ender IO or Endurio. I don't know whether people say Ender IO or Endurio or EIO. Um, like old McDonald. Anyway, the fluid tanks use iron bars. I'm trying to think if there's... Oh, yeah, the machine chassis, which... I'm trying to remember, do you need one of these for the... What are these in? I guess the farming machine is probably the first one I would want it for. Okay, people say Ender IO. Well, yes, Janie, you can automate nether quartz, but it takes a while before you've automated it. So having having a bunch on hand is nice. 
grab some more books. Indurios, part of... I did see Indurios when I was looking through the food list, but there's no way to make them that I could find. They're in the... Uh, I don't even know how to find them. Um, they're on the list, though, of things that make methane. They're in this list, which is like all the different foods. I don't remember where. Uh, let's see if we can find it, though. Hey, Butt Munch 101. Ah, I love the Twitch names. Uh, thanks for the follow. You know what? They're in here, but hell if I know which one they are. We're going to give up on that. Oop, don't fall down. No chests. What do you need quartz for before you can automate it? I don't know. I try to put off automating things for a little while. I don't just like go ham automating the moment that I can because I think there's a... It's the same thing you deal with in Pinodons, actually. There's a there's a balance between automating it almost before it's worth it and then automating it too late and doing a lot of extra work that's not needed. Because if you automate it too soon, you actually slow your progress down by a lot. <laughs> hey, Button Munch, have a, have a good day at work. <laughs> it's fun to call people that without it being offensive. Um, Let's see. I know I haven't been in this building. Do you have secrets for me? Rock salt. Actually, regular salt is pretty useful. I don't remember what for. I mean, you need it for chlorine, but you don't need a ton of chlorine early game. We're just on the hunt for chests at this point. That is what we need. Was the ground floor. Nothing. Wow, I have really struck out on the chests so far. Gone like the whole day and I've only found well, really nothing. I mean, I've found like anvils and stuff, but I haven't found any armor or staves or wands or Anything useful? Well, uh, we'll explore this building tomorrow. I don't know if these ones have any chests in them. I don't think I've ever found a chest in these big buy big guys. At home, two. I have no name for it. And we shall sleep. And hopefully find what we're looking for. Goodness. Goodness gracious. All right, let's make some stairs down to the trees. Mm -hmm. Done. A villager. Hello, good, good sir. My good librarian, you would like to sell me paper? Or is that I sell paper to you? Either way. Not necessary. Grab the tree while we're here. Yeah, so really the minimum for me is dark steel boots and then um I can just get rid of terracotta. Dark steel boots, the wand of tra or staff wand of traveling, and I feel like there's one other necessary thing that I'm forgetting. Hmm. Don't know what it is. Build that chest up quick. So Realgar is pretty useless. Uh, Cassiterite is tin, and chalc Chalcopyrite is uh, copper. This is useful only once you need the antimony. And also, 
AS arsenic. You do need arsenic eventually, but it's a while before that. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll teleport back to that building. Maybe it has something good for us. Munch on the food. Very beautiful building. Oh, with uh, unconnected stairs. That was I almost just jumped off the ledge there. I don't don't see much here in the way of usefulness. It's just the roof. I think yeah, we struck out here. Unless there can be chests on the roof, in which case I might be missing something. There's a chest. Of course, it doesn't have what we want. Oh, an ender pearl. That's actually nice. Um, excuse me. We'll ignore the rest of those things. I don't really understand these because I never use the ender IO machines. Um, I don't really know if those are important to grab or not. There's a zombie in that corner. And there's a chest, and a lot of bad guys. Oh, I dropped my torches. Crap. I don't have the, the MLG Minecraft strats. Are they fighting? What the heck? I didn't know that was a thing. Their reaction time is ungodly. Oh gosh. It would be hilarious if I just died right here. Oop. Oh, that was close. There's literally another one. I hate these mob spawners. So annoying. Uh, you know what I can do? Rather than being stupid. Oh, gosh. Maybe that was stupid, too. <laughs> uh, I didn't get everything out of that chest. Anything important that I missed? I'm, uh, I'm not, not proving my gaming skills right now. I'm well aware. I don't really care about palace crystals right now, I don't think. Those are just lapis uh, going through the atomic reconstructor. Cake bread. This is all just mostly useless stuff. I don't care about any of that. Dang. So far, not great. Let's go. I should have been keeping track of what direction we're going. Um, I think this is our home area. Those look like the farms, and I'm here. So I guess we're going south and east. Try to stick to those directions so I don't repeat buildings. Chomp, 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 chomp. Probably have enough anvils by now. Really expected to have better luck. Nothing. 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 Another anvil. Nothing. Wait, there's no game sounds? Oh, shoot, sorry guys. Thanks for telling me. Um, you're right, that is not working the way it should. Properties. Wait, is that the right one? There we go. Now you can hear it, right? Hopefully. 
Yeah, I, I'm done with the anvils, Jane. I think I have like five already. By the time I need more, the iron cost will be insignificant. Oh, there's a creeper. We'll just leave him down there. Man. Bad luck, Brian, is what we are. I can also turn on the music. I had turned it off at one point because it was kind of getting repetitive for me, but I do like the Minecraft music. I'll try that. I just can't seem to find chests. No matter what we do. Oh, we found a railway. Which descends into the bowels of the earth. I don't really know if there's any like guaranteed things in there that I should be looking for. It's very dark, but I don't see any chests. I see a creeper. That's done. Oh, and it's flipping. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we're stuck down here. Why did I jump? There we go. Uh, I'm gonna need to go get some more food. Goodness. I can't believe we still haven't found a single dark steel armor piece. Or the wand. Like, I think I found all three of them in this amount of time on my other game. But at least here will be some meats. Pigs, it's time to serve your purpose. Uh, the other thing I need to think about is cows. Once I find some, I need to have that as a teleport spot and start breeding them ASAP. Because you need a decent amount of leather for a lot of the early game upgrades that you want, like satchels and the tool belt. There's oil in that. I don't know if there's a chest. No. Come on. There's probably tricks to this that I don't know, like how to only only get to ones that have chests. Music is a bit loud. It actually still might be a bit loud. This is a side rant, but the way that volume controls work is always very interesting because sound is non-linear uh, in actually more than one way. So if you double the amount of like power that's going into a speaker, it doesn't get twice as loud. And the way we experience sound is also very non-linear. And so some volume controls try to compensate for that already so that they're kind of doing the adjustment as you move the slider. So it does what you would think it would do. And then other volume sliders don't do that. And that explains why you've probably been like, wait, I just turned it down to half the volume. Why does it still sound really loud or vice versa? Um, yeah, anyway. Sound is weird. And we need food. Big time. So, let's smeltify the mutton. And the pork chops. And hopefully we can actually find what we're looking for. I, I'm really kind of uh, at a loss. 
sure what to do other than just keep looking. We could always do other things and then come back to it, I guess, if I get bored of this. But we'll look a little bit more. I do want those torches. Where did I put them? And I'll just make another sword. And we'll grab our food. Need a couple. Cobble. Where did cobblestone go? I have none. It's in my inventory. Nice work. There we go. Make a few more torches. Sticks away. Chomp down on some mutton. And then hopefully find... It's really the Staff of Traveling and the Dark Steel Boots. Those two completely change the way that you can actually play the game. Having the Dark Steel Boots is so nice to just be able to jump off of any height and not get hurt. Uh, it just lets you be way more chill in how you traverse your factory. Oh, there's a spider right there. And then the wand just gets you places so much faster and saves you so much time. It will actually be worth it. Almost no matter how long this takes, it'll be worth it to find one. So we will find one eventually. Maybe I have a new idea. Oh, here's one. Of course, nothing useful. Take the food. Nether warts. Uh, I will need one of them. And that's about it. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about crafting it. What do they need to craft? That does take a while. Uh, vibrant crystals. Oh my gosh. Um, unless I can find one in a chest, I won't have that for a while. Because that's the blast. I ignored a chest? Oh no, where was it? Down here? Oh gosh. Well, here's my death. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Spawners really get on my nerves. You know what? Screw that. There was this so-called chest. that one. Alright, Kamuna, see you later. I say this building isn't worth it. That is way too many spawners. Way too many spawners. Oh my gosh. I might as well just give up now. The run is over. I quit. See you guys later. Eat the golden apple. Put away the stuff. Go back out. Maybe I just need to explore the outside of buildings and forget about the inside. I do need more food. So I will murderize some sheep. Sorry, dudes and dudettes. Maybe I just need to look in the window, and if there's no chest, I just move on. Go window shopping. Okay, well, 
spots outside the city. Mm-hmm. I've been here. <laughs> Broken window is evidence of that. I don't think I went in this one. There's a nice gaping hole. Aha, cows. Is there only one? Please tell me there's more than one. Really, only one cow? I hear multiples. There we go. Okay, set home cow. We'll come back there later. Hey, we found a sword. Empowered to mini anvil direct. Empowered to. I don't know what direct does. Teleports mind things directly in your inventory. Oh, I guess that's kind of handy. Not too handy on a sword, but I guess it works with uh, string from cobwebs, maybe? And this thing does nine damage compared to five. That's a lot better. And it also has empowered, which I think will work on a sword. I don't know if that works on a sword. Um, oh yeah, it probably does grab the mob drops as well. Yeah, I think it did. Cool. Okay. Let me up. Some nice little uh, forest here. Planted forest. But all I want is dark steel boots. Please, just one time. Actually, this is a lot of leather. I will grab all of this. Please and thank you. Chest? No. What's up, Archcraft? Good to see ya. Been a while. Come on, baby. Not having the luck whatsoever. I'm not going down there. I'm just gonna pop down here. Let's go up this way. This is easily the worst luck I've had. I mean, I've seen chests with like multiple pieces of dark steel armor in the same chest before. We still haven't even found one. You know, it's just fitting for a stream, right? That bad luck. We already got an enchanting. Is there a reason to have more than one? I don't actually know. I did very little enchanting in my last uh, run. Maybe that was a mistake. Uh, Carl! Welcome, and also, I have no idea what you're talking about, and you're probably completely correct. I don't know what the butchering tool is. Is it, an, is it just a knife? Oh, wait, I think I saw it. This guy? Oh, it has looting three by default? Aha. Yeah, I could make that once I have some iron, and then get way more leather. That's a great idea. I did not know about that. There is a chest right there. Oh, thank goodness. Dark steel boots. Manganese will matter, but not for a long time. So I'll ignore that. Unfortunately, they're out of power mostly, which sucks. They're only at 16,000, but I'll take it. Oh. You know, I was wondering if there was something that let you copy-paste. I guess it's not very expensive, so I could have just made one the whole time. 
Yeah, I guess electrical steel, so you need an alloy smelter, but that's early. Uh, <laughs> Did I go in here? I'm doing it again. This is east. I don't think I did. Now we're going northeast, but I think this is a new direction, mostly. Oh my gosh, we're already at the end of day three, and I still haven't found a wand. I might give up on the wand for now. I kind of want to get into playing the actual mod pack, rather than just exploring lost cities for days. But we'll look a minute longer here. Already can't see anything. This one have a chest in it. Uh, maybe. Oh gosh! Jump attack. Minecraft jump scares. I do not have my weapon out. Nothing. Anything in here? It's a lot of mob spawners. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, well, sometimes you strike out. We'll come back. Our base is not going to be very large to start out anyway, so it's not like the wand of travel is going to do all that much, but it would have been nice to have. I'll probably come back and look for it after a bit. So let's take a look at the good old quest book and see what we're doing here. Uh, it starts out kind of with the tools and basic supplies. We'll also grab the terminal. We'll have to do a lot of mining in the early game rather than exploring the above ground. Uh, the terminal is pretty great. It's like the HV prospector thing, but better. Because you can, you can do all sorts of things with this. So you've got the ore prospector, which is the same kind of thing. It looks like it has even more range, though, than the other one did. And then it can do the same thing for fluids. There's this thing where you can like select a block and then it'll like show you where the block is like see through x-ray vision. So that's pretty handy. Uh, I don't really know what this is, but I think you can use AR to help you build a multi block. It's got settings. I haven't looked too much in the tutorials, actually. Maybe I should have. But uh, the other helpful thing is it has some information on the multi-blocks in Greg Tech. So more information on like the bronze boiler or the ore drilling plant. So those can be pretty handy. Don't really know about the battery manager. Um... Whoa, what is this? Oh, this is like hardware inside. You can add items to this. Interesting. I don't actually know much about that. Anyway, we're going to get rid of all this. And then I would like to take the food. And cook it. We'll just stick with steaks for now, I guess. Go cut down some trees. And we'll need to mine some iron. And we'll get Nomi coins as we go. And Nomi coins are amazing because they allow you to buy pretty much all the random things that you need more of. Um, so check this out. We'll get Nomi coins as reward for quests. And you can get rubber tree saplings, for example. Or let's say you need some green sapphire. Or, or you need sheep spawners. Or zinc all the stuff and then there's different amounts of the currency so like the pennies are only worth one each and you know the nickels quarters and dollars it's all super handy and it says this in the quest book but don't be afraid to spend your coins um it's really easy to do the thing that we gamers do where it's like oh but i might need it later for this other thing you don't actually need any of the coins ever so just spend them when you want to spend them I, I kept a stockpile of about 64 nickels, and even that was too much. The most I ever needed, like, on demand, randomly, would be 5 to 10 nickels. 
Um, so I would I would say just spin them as you go, and it'll save you a lot of mining time. But we don't have any yet, so we'll need to do that. And we'll get another void cake. It lets you do this once per hour. Not that we really need it because of the teleporting. That'll be our void cake. I think we already got the first one anyway. And mining, mining, mining. I need torches for mining. So let's find out if we are close to... I put the terminal away. A iron vein. And there are different kinds of iron veins, but I would specifically like a magnetite means we'll go northwest a bit. The reason I want magnetite is because it has gold in it. And you need a lot of gold. It's not very cheap with Nomi coins. And so getting a little bit as you mine iron is very handy. We've got our hammer. We need torches. I'm not organized at all yet. Don't judge me. We'll get organized eventually. There they are. And I'll make a few more. Bada bam, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. More anvils there. But it was somewhere northwest, so I don't know. I just usually run this direction until I'm in the middle of the area which it looks like I am it's hard to see until you've filtered it it's also annoying it scrolls to the bottom every time and you have to scroll back up which I find frustrating but yeah we should just be able to dig straight down and find magnetite we all know what a great idea digging straight down is but I'll uh, I'll start back here and kind of go like so there is an item that does sand uh, in a bigger area as well. It's called the spade. I made one and then literally never used it, so I'm just not going to make one. This might be one of the last times I ever use my shovel. And probably to get some dirt for tree planting. Yeah, using it for snow would be another thing. Jeez, this is kind of a lot of sand, though. Come on. Ugh, that's so annoying. Okay, are we finally far enough? I think so. Yes, that should do it. Alright. Let's see, how do I do this again? I go there and then there. And if you just alternate this way, you can get a nice stairwell that you don't bump your head on. And I always put, um, what you want to call it? Torches. My brain went a different direction for a second. I always put torches on the left, left for leaving, right for returning. That's how I remember it. Here's our magnetite. And then we'll go down to where the magnetite is at our top square, which I might need to go down one more, but I'll explore just a bit first. Yeah, it looks like we're one tile too high up. So we'll kind of have this be our main mining floor. And then we'll eventually go down three more tiles. I kind of like to stay somewhat organized as I mine. Ooh, mining out chunks. That's not a bad idea. I just kind of have mined until I stop seeing or go back and forth. Pretty disorganized, to be honest. And I feel like you always find caverns. There's too many caverns for my taste. I'm not going to lie. Like, I like them existing, but it's kind of absurd. You it feels like you can't go 10 feet without finding a cavern.
But yeah, you can see there's lots of magnetite ore. And it goes to one iron bar each. And eventually you can pulverize the magnetite ore, which then will get you two iron bars each. And then long term, it eventually means you can get even more than two each, though I don't know if it's really worth it because it slows down the process. To do like the centrifuging and all that kind of stuff. Come on. Nope, you're stuck up there? Okay. Yeah, caves are useful in vanilla when you don't have the ore prospector and you're trying to look for small patches, but they do just get in the way when you have the mining hammers and a giant vein. It also helps a lot once you have the jetpack. It makes caves less annoying. Yeah, exactly, Jane. It, it really doesn't get you all that much extra, and it's better, at least with stuff like iron. Iron's free anyway, so there's really no reason to do it. But if you were playing the expert mode, which there is an expert mode of this pack that turns off the deep mob experience or simulation or learning or whatever it's called. And if you were using that version where you don't get infinite iron sooner, then I do think it might be more important to do those processes to make the most of your ore. But yeah, I'm probably going to have a full inventory pretty soon. I will keep the cobblestone for now. I'll use it to build the base of my void world. But it won't be long before I build the void satchel and just never pick up a cobblestone again. In fact, we're already too full. Let's get rid of the sandstone. Uh, I rebound it to delete, but there's a trash can that you can open up. I hate the sand. I will need sand. Pick up all the crap I left behind. Also, for those of you on YouTube, uh, this video series, I do plan on the videos being a little longer. I feel like if I cut uh, every every hour, there's going to be a million videos, and I won't get as much done. So I expect these to be longer to like an hour and a half to two hours per episode. I know that's not the best for the algorithm, but I'm not doing this for the algorithm. So there you go. I guess you'll just have to come back to the same video multiple times instead of having lots of smaller videos, which some people prefer, but I think the average person whether they know it or not, actually prefers shorter videos. Um, this is the Void World. It has literally nothing, and it's kind of beautiful. So it is what we make of it. We'll start out using the, uh, whatever this mod is called, Effortless Building, very handy. The floors and walls are particularly handy, but these other things are here too, like cylinders or spheres or circles. Um, the slope floor is great if you want stairs, but I actually plan to not build stairs into my factory at all because we get the jetpack and the other thingy so soon. Stairs are just a waste of space. Vertical travel is free. So what I actually plan to do is kind of have like a hallway that has multiple floors and then like big spaces in the middle, almost like um, fireman's poles you know, where I can jetpack up and down. So yeah, I mean, I will do verticality, but it won't be with stairs specifically. Because stairs are kind of just a waste of time as soon as you have a jetpack. All right, so here's a basic platform. Um, I forgot my overworld cake. So if I didn't have the teleport thing, I would have to wait here for an hour because I already used the quest that gets you one cake an hour. Although it's probably been a half an hour since then. We can just teleport. But I don't really need the cakes anymore. And what do we want to grab? I need some dirt. So let's go sleep real quick. I'll go dig up a stack of dirt and we'll start growing trees in the void world.
A good stock of trees and a good stock of iron are the first steps to victory. So we'll start smelting our iron. We have a good amount of food now, which is nice. I don't need that guy. Put away some cobblestone so I have room in the inventory. And we'll go grab some dirt. I will just preemptively make a, a better shovel. We'll grab some dirt. <laughs> hey, Cracklagon, how's it going? It is indeed not Factorio. Oh, yes, Dave, thank you for that reminder. I did that before, too. I had this idea for some reason that Void Worlds don't spawn enemies. Because it, it mentioned something in the quest book about safely building there or something. So I just assumed no enemies spawned at all. And that is not true. Enemies definitely spawn in the void world. So I'll need one, one dirt for every rubber tree. And then I'll need four dirt for every 2x2 two two spruce. Literally, like, two stacks of dirt will probably be enough for all of that. And the only other thing I'll need dirt for is some farming of uh, wheat. I could farm other things. Uh, if anyone knows what I should farm other than wheat, let me know. I do think maybe I should farm some carrots and do golden carrots for food. But the wheat is for reproducing cows, which gets me more leather. Other than that, I don't really need much. I can get carrots for Nomi coins, or uh, sorry, potatoes, and baked potatoes are fine as food. So, I don't know. Oh yeah, Dwarf Fortress is a huge time sink when you get into it. Flax for string. You know, that's not a bad idea. You do need a decent amount of string. I, at the point where I needed more string, I had enough of the, I had done the first deep mob learning thingy that gets you the terrestrial matter and you can make cobwebs out of that which then can make more string but not a bad plan can you get string with nomi coins i don't think you can yeah you can't so that's why that would be helpful i guess uh, that should be good for now yeah that's three stacks we will also grab sugar cane We'll need lots of that, and then I'll grab some sand. We will need enough for what is called snad. Snad is sand that grows sugarcane much faster if you send it redstone signals. I forget how much you need for a snad. Is it 81 times 2? It's just 81. I don't remember. Oh, and there our shovel goes. So that's the end of that. We'll come back if we need to. You can also just pulverize uh, gravel to get sand. It's not very difficult. This ore, by the way, is oil sands. Oil sands is a way to get oil without having the liquid oil. Also, over here is a bounty board, which will be handy if we want more coins. You can make widgets and a few of the Greg Tech like covers uh, like uh, conveyors or motors and you can get pennies and nickels and quarters it could be useful I think if you were using the currency a lot a lot if you do a medium amount of mining I don't really think this is necessary but if you were like hardcore I don't ever want to mine I think it would be useful to to do some of the bounties I thought about automating at least the first tier of wooden widgets and just checking the bounty board once in a while for only, or I guess wooden and stone widgets are both easy and free, and then just checking ones that only require wooden and stone widgets. But those don't come up quite as often. Like There's none right now, for example. Anyway, uh, trees. Did I chop down any trees? No. Chop some trees.
And then I think I might have enough iron. Oh, I probably ran out of charcoal, though. But I, I have enough iron mined to get our first Greg Tech tools, which will make this faster. Those planted haphazardly, my favorite way to plant. Look at that lack of order. Beautiful. Uh, we could just grab some bread, if I were so inclined. Let's do that. Might as well, it's here. It'll get me more cows as well. Smelt down that wood. Did I, I did get some coal. Did I find coal ore? I actually think I did, didn't I? Am I making that up? Put all my ore in the same chest. Take out food. Uh, I think I might have made that up. I don't see any coal ore. Gold. Yeah, I don't see any. All right, 15. 15. Uh, we'll start with the file. Nope, just kidding. We need plates. The plates come from a hammer. That's first. Six bars and a stick. Grab some wood. I really need to get organized. I will as soon as I move things over to the void. I promise. Stick. Six bars. Hammer. And then we can make a file. Or no, we can make iron plates. Make a file. You know what? I know the recipe. I probably should make wrought iron, but at this point, it's uh, I have to smelt it again, and I'm I don't have a ton of. What am I doing? This is the file. I was like, I saw the sword and it was wrong, but it's because I put the wrong thing there. All right, so we've got that. I probably should be following the quest book, to be honest. Um, it kind of guides you through all of this. So they want me to get some wrought iron ingots, which I will do. Wrought iron is a tougher material to make tools out of, and all you have to do is smelt iron again in a furnace. It's very easy to make. The only cost of wrought iron compared to iron is some fuel. And then I will make some bread. Go ahead and munch on that for now. And then void world wise, let's go plant some dirt. Go two away from the edge, actually. I'll just extend the edge out by a couple tiles. I don't want saplings to fall off. We'll go three tiles out. Three tiles out. So... Nice and peaceful music. Go home. And I actually will change the names of these. This will be Overworld, and then I'll change the other one to just my normal home. Okay. I do have a couple saplings still here. I need four to get a big tree started. And I think my first goal is a wrought iron axe which is this guy, which is a bar, two plates, hammer, and file. 
we have all of that. Let me make a couple plates. See if I can remember the order everything was in. I want to say it looked like this, maybe. No? This? Two sticks? There it is. Rod iron axe. So this bad boy means I can throw away the stone axe forever. And, well, of course, there's no trees over there, but I shall show you the glory of the wrought iron axe. Specifically, the Greg Tech axe. Bam, tree's gone. One hit. It does use up durability for every single wood that it grabs, though. And so you'll find that when you get the giant 2x2 two two spruce trees, it'll use, like, half the durability <laughs> to cut down one tree. But you need a lot of these things. Um, it's kind of crazy, actually. The other option is to just make a million of them out of, uh, no, you can't use stone. Just kidding. I lied. I was in my, I knew there was a cheap option, but wrought iron is the cheap option compared to steel is the other option. But steel is better because the only cost of steel is even more charcoal. Anyway, I digress. We'll smelt more iron. And I actually think I'll move these over to the... Oops. I only meant to grab one, but we'll move these to the Void World. Melons, I don't care about. Spider Eye, we'll hold on to. It's actually all important except oak saplings. Uh, yeah, you're right. I could use flint. I don't think flint is easily obtainable, though. Isn't iron basically as easy as flint? Unless there's a recipe for flint, that's easier than what I thought. Like, you can mortar down gravel. So I guess once you have a... Um, no, because that's a byproduct, so that you can't get byproducts until HV. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know. You can enchant, but it doesn't quite last long enough. You'd still need to repair it a bunch of times. I'm on the fence as to whether that's worth it or not. Flint could also be used for the mortar and pestle. True. Uh, but that's on gravel, which you'd still need to make from a rock breaker or forge hammer. Anyway, that's, uh, I don't know, probably too much to worry about for right now. Oop. So things get weird when you're doing the special building modes um, and trying to build something like weird stuff happens. Like you have to do a lot of w weird inventory to get back to normal. I've done that a lot of times. True, gravel can be mined, but so can iron. Iron's not that hard to get. And you can also buy iron in fairly large amounts, I might add. Um, with Nomi coins. So. I don't quite feel like it's necessary. I will get the overworld cake just so we can have it. It is faster than waiting five seconds. Where did I leave that? Hmm. It is. Um, and then to refill these, we would need pulsating dust, which comes from uraninite. And that's easy enough to find, but I don't know if it's really worth it when we can just teleport. I won't be teleporting all that often soon. I think I just want some more wood so that I can build crates. And once I can build crates, then we'll start moving all of our stuff into an organized system in the overworld. And I will go ahead and make a 2x2 two two right here. I think that'll grow. Hopefully that won't be in the way. I don't know. Make this a 2x2 two two as well. 
it's crazy how tall they get. We're talking like three stacks of wood for one tree or something. Or at least two stacks. Hey, carrots. Speaking of carrots. Okay, let's expand our world a bit more. Put away the hammer. Grab. Gotta remember the recipe. These storage crates can hold a crap ton of stuff. I think they hold more than four chests, even. They hold so much. But you need quite a bit of wood. You need a log, four sticks, four planks, four more planks, which is eight planks, four chests, which is 32, so that's 40 planks, a log, and four sticks, I think. Oops. I did not set home. Put that right in the middle. I feel like that looks nice. And go ahead and space this out a bit. Five squares between them. That'll be another tree. And the floor. And you can also expand how far you can go out, right? You start out with just six by six. Um, but I think the early one is actually super cheap. What is it again? Um, is it called enhanced? No. I don't remember what it's called. Reach upgrade. Effortless build. Yeah, it's just a string and a stick. So I can literally, literally do that. Um, and then the other one is magma cream and a bone. So that's also easy to get as soon as we have a probably an alloy smelter. We can do this um, because slime blocks can come from slime or rice. And we can get slime balls from plant balls, which are coming from leaves or saplings. So a long way to. Oh, right. I forgot the extra. Long way to say that you can literally just get saplings to turn into slime eventually. And we need to make sure we don't have any mobs spawning on our void block. We'll use F7, which shows us all of the locations. Dastardly mobs can spawn. I think we got it all cleared out. We'll uh, we'll get one of those mega torches eventually, which will just prevent mobs from spawning within like four chunks, which is going to be like out to here with just one of them. So that makes it nice and easy. Plant the saplings. We'll place a chest here just for basic things for now. Dirt and cobblestone. And sand. We do need some wood to make the crates. Let's see. We need 40, we said, planks. I think we have just enough. Make all the things. Wood casing. Check. Storage. Oh, we need the other uh, chests. And then small storage crate. Kaboom. Check this thing out. Bam. How many is that? Three, six, nine, 13 by nine. That's a lot. This will be the beginnings of my storage. And then what else do we need to do? We need to do more mining. This is just the stage of the game where I feel like I have the whole world ahead of me. It's like there are so many things we need to do, and it's all so fun. I love it. So I still need a few more wrought iron ingots before it's happy. And then we'll start working through all these. 
I just need to pick them up. We already have the wrought iron. And I will go ahead and transition everything to the void. And I think that will probably be about, once we get everything moved over, will be where we'll wrap up the first episode. Just literally going to put everything in one chest to start. What's up, Acronymous? Um, You haven't missed too much. We're just still getting started, really. We did a lot of exploring of the Lost Cities to find almost none of what we were looking for, which was great. Do crates not retain inventory? You know what? I have no idea, Archcraft. I don't actually know if they do or don't. I've never tested that. Oops. Crates do not. Okay. I know barrels did when I played uh, Create Above and Beyond. But... Now, one thing that I know changed in one of the more recent updates to Nomi Factory is that the... Oh, of course, one short. We'll throw away the Acacia. Acacia? Acacia? I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, but anyway, the... Drawers. The drawers don't drop items. Just by default, when you crack open a drawer, it doesn't drop everything. Which is kind of nice. All right, there's all my junk sorted. I will grab the crafting table that next to the furnaces. Is the tree grown yet? Nope. I'll put the bed down. I don't think... Daytime doesn't matter, right? When you've got torchlight on trees. There are bigger crates. Uh, you don't get them for a while. I'm trying to remember what the medium crate needs. I haven't even looked at the large one. But the medium crate needs these diamantine... Diamantine crystal blocks, which come from. Oh, you kind of go in circles there, but they come from the atomic reconstructor on diamonds. And yeah, the it's really weird. The bigger crates are two separate pages. So manually getting to the second page is annoying. However, it's very helpful for usage in the Greg Tech crafting tables because they the crafting table still sees the whole inventory. Or, or using a storage bus on them, you know, for applied energistics can also work. But the second page is kind of annoying, I will say. I have some ideas about how I'll make things less annoying for my run. We'll see if I can implement them very well. But, yeah, I'm really hoping that tree grows soon. It's kind of what we're waiting for. Oh, you know, I should have a bed here, too. Let me grab... Do I have enough wool? I do. Because the time is different. Like, the time in the overworld does not match the time in the void world. And we'd like to keep it daytime here. Turn off the F7. None of those have grown still. Um... I guess maybe time keeps passing if you chunk load. Yeah. I wonder if you chunk load any chunks in the overworld, then does the whole overworld still have time passing? Probably does. And let me chunk load. So this is definitely something you want to do. Claim your chunks. I will preemptively claim a lot of chunks. This prevents creepers from blowing up your stuff if such things happen. And then you can also chunk load them with shift click, which means no matter where you are, it will continue processing those. You get 50 loaded chunks, so you got plenty to start out with. Eventually, though, if you're not building vertically, you're going to run out of room. So you do have to think vertically at some point. Okay, we got that done. We really need more trees. I might just go cut whatever I can find to start out. 
You don't have to be super pretty. I'll just cut down these trees over here. Boom. I maybe should grab the saplings because I could make plant balls out of them, but it's not a huge deal. I'll get so many from the spruce trees eventually. that. Cut this guy down. Oh, the leaves are not disappearing. Oh, there's another. There we go. Okay, that should help with our charcoal. Oh, there we go. Now the two by two grew. So you'll see the wrought iron axe will go from, what is it? It's at 323 durability. It's going to probably get halfway used up just with this one tree. You can see, this isn't even the tallest. They get even taller than that. So yeah, there we go. Okay, maybe not halfway used up, but it did use quite a bit. Whee! Give me all the saplings. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Do that again. I have enough to take home with me as well to make another 2x2 two two at home. And in this case, 2x2s two two at home are just as good as 2x2s two in the overworld. <laughs> all right. Pop back to the void world. Now we can really get some charcoal going. I'll keep the rest for my uh, wood needs. Oops. Not what I meant. That. I will also... smelt these guys into... more charcoal. I don't think four is enough in terms of the furnaces. I think I'm going to go for six this time. I played with four diamond furnaces, and that was almost always enough. A few times I was waiting on it. I think six obsidian furnaces will be more than enough, because that's like basically tripling what I had before. So I will just start with six furnaces, and we can coat them with iron pretty early to make them faster. So... We will do that once we, once we have a little bit more iron. For now, six regular furnaces should be enough, though. In fact, plenty to get me confused on what's where. Ah, it begins. The beautiful cycle. Hey, look at how short it is. That's like as short as they can grow. Should be still a decent amount of wood. And Shane only did two obsidian. Yeah. You don't really need all that much. The obsidian ones are fast. So, I mean, you and I did the same thing, basically. Because four diamond is the same as two obsidian, I think. All right. Okay, and then the crafting table from Greg Tech is also really important. Where is it, though? There it is. Crafting station. So this guy needs a saw, and it's so handy. It saves recipes and just makes life a lot easier and connects to inventories next to it. Um, so this will be pretty much the last thing I do without consulting the quest book. I mean, for now. I will do a lot of things without consulting the quest book, I'm sure. So I need wrought iron, two wrought iron plates. I need that hammer back. There we go. Two plates. Did I need the file? I don't remember. Yes. 
Hot iron. It is kind of annoying. You have to find the right one every time, but you, you get better at it. And then we need some planks, a crafting table, some slabs, and a couple chests. We'll do two chests, slabs. Is that it? Did I forget something? Ah, the crafting table. Create Greg and Beyond? Oh, that sounds like hell. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I could handle that. Alright, so we'll plop this down here, and if you haven't encountered these before, there's a couple things that are annoying about them, but most everything is great. Uh, it's connected to the storage over here, and you can take stuff out and put stuff in to the storage, so that's nice. Uh, one annoying thing is if you like shift, click, and drag to put stuff into the storage, it only works on the first one sometimes. So you see they went into the actual crafting station's inventory instead of the storage. Not the biggest of deals, but it actually can get annoying. Um, but otherwise, it's super handy because I can just go to uh, crafting table, for example, hit plus, and it will drag the planks out of the attached storage to make these. And I can put them in my inventory, put them back in the crafting inventory, or just back into the storage. So that's super great. Um, so I can just do that. You know, I can I can grab the planks out of here, make the circle for chests, make those. And then when I come back, I can switch and just click on that again and get the recipe back. So it can only hold nine. So you want to make a few of them for different things. Uh, what Minecraft version is this? I guess it's 12. I don't know. I actually didn't know that. I thought it was seven for some reason. There you go. Um, so I'll put away all these random things for now. Grab all the smelting results. Fill up the furnaces with a bit more fuel. You really want to make sure you have at least eight charcoal because you need exactly eight to smelt a full stack. So if you have less than eight, you won't finish out the full stack. Seven. <laughs> yeah, well, 1.7, of course. Not Minecraft seven. Um, okay. I think this is a good place to call it uh, for the first episode. We've gotten our void world slightly established. We've got our first crafting station. We've got some furnaces going, some iron going, our first basic tools. Um, to unlock these, you have to unlock the first one. So it, sometimes it's kind of annoying in that it like it won't let you skip certain quests. It will let you skip some, but. You do want to make sure you look at the quests before you do things, because sometimes you'll make objects only in the uh, crafting station, and then you'll use them in the crafting station, and you never held the item at any point, so it doesn't complete the quest that you needed to complete to complete the next step. That's I've run into that a couple times. But... So, like, we need to hold 12 wrought iron, even though I've had... I think I had enough. You actually need to have it in your inventory for it to count. We'll we'll grab the 12, finish that quest, maybe make the snips, wire cutters, and then it should automatically unlock the axe one and the is there not a hammer one? Doesn't look like there's a hammer one. Should unlock the batch crafting in style. I might make a grappling hook really decide they're kind of annoying to use but they are cool and they can help out exploring the lost cities in particular but as soon as you have dark steel boots and the like travel wand and a jetpack i don't see why you would ever use it all right here we go our first nomi coins Ta -da! so then we complete the quest claim our nomi nickel and now we've got that. 
Oh, they want us to make a bunch of tools for this. Okay, so we'll make all those in the next episode and get this quest done. And we'll just keep going through the pack. You can see there's a lot of quests. Um, the Genesis is mostly getting tools. The beginning is getting all your first machines, your low voltage machines. Uh, this walks you through the deep mob learning and the uh, applied energistic storage, which kind of happen in early medium voltage-ish. And then early game walks you through um, pretty much all of medium voltage. And then you get to like high voltage, and I haven't even looked at most of this stuff. And then there's a couple that are separate, like the processing lines. This is its own tab. It kind of just tells you like, here's how you get cobblestone for free, and here's how you get gravel for free. And so you actually want to do these a bit earlier than <laughs> these aren't like after the end game. So make sure you look at these ones. And then progression is just kind of pointing out how the progression works on, I think, the coil blocks, the jetpacks, the upgrade kits, the satchels, and circuits. Plus a couple of these things. So I don't know. The progression one is just sort of a nice handy way to look at like all the circuits and stuff, but I didn't really use it that much. And I'm pretty sure all of these quests are actually just also in here somewhere. This is just a different organization of them. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. So that's going to be it for the first episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed Nomi Factory so far. Like I said, it's going to be a slow playthrough. I'm not going to rush. So if you like the slower pace, great. If you don't, Maybe just watch every other episode and you'll see you'll see things happen a little faster. Maybe if you do that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for being here for all of you on YouTube. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm glad to be back streaming and I'll see you in the next one. Well, if I can, I don't remember my hotkey to do my video outro. One moment, please.